are untouchable. We are unstoppable and we are undisputed. What is up YouTube? I am TJ or Tanner, aka Undisputed Brotherhood, and I cover professional wrestling and occasionally action figures. But anyways, we're gonna get right into today's video. Today I will be covering my full predictions for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4 tomorrow night on the WWE Network. I'm very excited for this show. NXT is amazing. I've always been a huge NXT guy. I watch every week. TakeOver, I've been to like three of them before. I went to TakeOver Dallas. Toronto and New Orleans, they're always the best shows of a weekend, and I guarantee it's going to blow SummerSlam out of the water. The card looks absolutely amazing, could be one of the best takeovers to date, so let's not waste any time and get right into my predictions. So the first matchup on the card is the Velveteen Dream taking on EC3, Ethan Carter III, or can we call them that anymore? No. Anyways, I think this match is probably the hardest to predict on the uh, entire card, in my opinion. Uh, we've got EC3, who they're obviously going to push. He's uh, very, very good on the mic. Not so great in the ring, but I feel like they're probably going to push him. He's uh, He reminds me a lot of like Bobby Roode, uh, someone like that, who's uh, a little bit different for the NXT sort of indie style, but he's got the character work down. So yeah, I could see EC3 taking the win. As for Velveteen Dream, he is absolutely white hot right now. So, so over. He's uh, just surpassed everyone's expectations, putting on amazing matches with guys like uh, Ricochet and uh, Aleister Black. Absolutely, really, really want Velveteen Dream to win this match. I think he should win this match, but I do think that uh, EC3 is going to get the win, so for this matchup, I am going to be going with EC3, Mr. Top 1%. Up next, we do have a NXT Tag Team Championship match between the challengers Mustache Mountain, Tyler Bate, and Trent Seven, taking on my boys. The Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly the god, by the way. But yes, for this matchup, I have got to go with the Undisputed Era to retain. They already did do the flip-flop for that uh, sort of cheap pop while they did their UK shows there where Mustache Mountain won it. Undisputed Era's gotten it back. They've had some amazing matches. I'm pretty sure a recent match of theirs uh, got five stars from a certain wrestling analysis who's a little bit controversial right now after he said some things about Peyton Royce, but we're not going to get into that. This is about NXT TakeOver. For this matchup, I am definitely going to go with Undisputed Era to retain. They are absolutely white hot right now, and I just don't see the point in them dropping it right back to Mustache Mountain. I feel like War Raiders are probably going to be the next tag team champions. So for that matchup, I am going to be going with Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. The Undisputed Era. Next up, we've got a singles match that I am really looking forward to for the NXT North American Championship. Two of my favorite guys on the entire brand. In one corner, we've got Adam Cole, who's white hot heel, leader of the Undisputed Era. Such a perfect character for NXT, and he's gonna do so well on the main roster. I just, I know they can't screw him up, but they'll probably find a way to. I hope they don't. And he is taking on Ricochet, the one and only. Before we get into this, first of all, Roll it. Just no, I cannot tell Tanner. Huh? Okay. All right. I'm joking. Hello, Tanner. Hello, <laughs> thank Tanner. you. Thank you so much. Yes. That's my my girlfriend is amazing. Wow, she got Ricochet to shut me out. That was very, very cool. I hope she has an amazing time. She'll actually be attending takeover. But yeah, you guys should uh you should go subscribe to her because she's really funny and she makes better videos than me and deserves more subscribers than me. So yeah, go uh, go subscribe to Indigo. Uh but anyways, Adam Cole versus Ricochet, my pick for this matchup is Ricochet. I think he's going to become the new NXT North American Champion. I just don't see anyone else on the brand who should really defeat Adam Cole at this time. Maybe Velveteen Dream, but I think it's a bit early for him. So yeah, I'm going to go with Ricochet to take the NXT North American Championship from Adam Cole. I don't think Adam Cole is going to get called up. I think him and the Undisputed Era need to stay down in NXT, but I think Adam Cole could try and start chasing the uh, main championship. I would love to see Adam Cole enter a feud with Johnny Gargano or someone like that going into TakeOver War Games. But I am guessing Undisputed Era might just be in the War Games match, maybe against someone like British Strong Style, and then some third team like they did last year. Oh, but yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I definitely think Ricochet will be the new NXT North American Champion. I think the title will definitely elevate him up to the next level, and uh, it's just a bit early for him to lose, in my opinion. So yeah, my pick for this matchup is definitely Ricochet. Up next, we have the NXT Women's Championship match between champion Shayna Baszler taking on Kyrie Sane, a rematch from the Mae Young Classic, uh, I believe, two years ago now, or was it last? year yeah I think it was last year actually and they're doing another Mayon Classic this year but this is about the Mayon Classic I like to blabber a lot but anyways the NXT Women's Championship match Shayna Baszler Kyrie Sane who do I see winning honestly I think Shayna Baszler is going to keep the NXT Women's Championship I don't see it switching 
But if there is any title that's going to switch on this show, I feel like this one is probably the most likely, which we'll get into in a minute when we talk about the NXT Championship. But I definitely don't see the tag titles changing, and I really kind of don't see the... All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil my prediction for the next match, uh, but yeah, I feel like this is most likely the title that would change on the show. But I think I'm gonna stick with Shayna Baszler. I feel like the person to beat her is probably gonna be someone like Candice LeRae. But they do have uh, Io coming in, so I'm gonna go with Shayna Baszler. I think Shayna Baszler is going to retain the women's championship this weekend. And now the main event. On one hand, we've got the arrogant heel, the badass, the Sicilian psychopath the best heel in professional wrestling right now, Tommaso Ciampa. In the other hand, we've got the white hot baby face, Johnny Gargano. Everyone loves him. So what do we do? They've had their first two matches. Gargano won in New Orleans, Ciampa won in Chicago. So it would make sense for them to end the feud here and have Johnny win and just uh, have his big moment and end the feud at the best out of three. But Ciampa just won the title. And he's like the hottest thing going in NXT right now. So should they really take the title off of Ciampa this early? No, I don't think so. I think the reason they were originally going with a triple threat match here, if you don't know, it was originally going to be a triple threat match, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, and Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. But then when Black went out with a crotch injury, they just uh, put Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa into a last man standing match. And I think that stipulation is key, last man standing. So we don't have to have a decisive finish here. I think what's going to happen is these two are absolutely going to destroy each other. And either both of them are going to be able to get up for the count of 10, or somehow Ciampa's going to get up at the last second. But I do not see Johnny Gargano walking out of Brooklyn with the NXT Championship. Not yet. You see, what I think needs to happen here is Tommaso Ciampa retains, goes on this tear a little bit longer, because he's only had the title for what now? Maybe three or four weeks. So I feel like he needs to keep the title, have probably one more feud going into TakeOver War Games, and then get Johnny Gargano back on him, and then him versus Johnny Gargano, their big moment at NXT TakeOver in uh, Mania Weekend. I don't know if they're going to call it Brooklyn 5 or something like that, because it is going to be in Brooklyn. So NXT Brooklyn 5, NXT WrestleMania Weekend this year, I think it needs to be Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Hell in a cell. I think that's the perfect stipulation for these two. It would be the first time in NXT. And then Johnny Gargano finally gets his big moment, makes Tommaso Ciampa tap out. If you go back to the Kenny Omega Kazuchika Okada series, which a lot of people kind of argue which one is better. Personally, I honestly like the Johnny Gargano Tommaso Ciampa series better, but I know some of the marks are going to hit on me for that. But, anyways, for them, we had uh, Okada get the first win, we had a draw. And we, we kind of had Omega get a win, although it wasn't for the title. And then they had their big match, and he finally had his win. So what I think they need to do here is Johnny wins the first one, which has happened. Tommaso Ciampa wins the second one. They draw in the third one, and then Gargano gets his big moment, wins the title, takeover weekend. Plus, New Japan and Ring of Honor are holding their big show the same night as TakeOver Mania weekend. So WWE needs that big match to draw. So in my opinion, that's the perfect one. Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Hell in a Cell, NXT Championship. Gargano gets his big moment. Huge pop. The pop is literally going to be nuclear. And it's going to be absolutely insane. So that's what I think should happen. So my prediction for this match to retain on Saturday night and keep his NXT Championship is the Sicilian Psychopath. Tommaso Ciampa. Those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver. Let me know your predictions down in the description below if you agree or disagree with what I had to say. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to never miss an upload. Follow me on Instagram and all my other social medias down in the description. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.